you welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. We were talking about Deontay Wilder before we went on that break. And Cecilia, um, he's talking a good game. He's always had that in his, uh, in his locker. So uh, not a surprise uh, to me at all. But this fight against uh, uh, Bermer and Steven, a lot you're of really people out there, uh, they're not interested. And that's I'm the not fact. interested. I'm not watching. But, but let's give him, I mean, credit. He was supposed to face Alex and Povechkin. He failed a drug test. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to face uh, the King Kong, Luis <laughs> Ortiz. He failed a drug, drug test. test. <laughs> now, someone has got to fight someone, right? Yeah. And um, that person is uh, Bermer and Steven. You can't really blame um, uh, Deontay Wilder. No. I'm not blaming him. No, not I'm you. Not a lot of fans out there are saying he's not fighting elite uh, fighters and stuff like that. I don't think that's the case. Okay. Now let's listen to him now <laughs> because the reason why all the fighters, all the boxers are running away from him and only uh, Bermin Steven is the only guy who step up and say, okay, let's have the rematch. The man, that bout was in 2015. Mm. And since that time, this guy has not. Been yeah, he's, he's been inactive, Two, basically. Yes, he's been inactive. We'll see how uh, Deontay Wilder is going to fare in this one. I think it's just be a straight knockout. He didn't do the business <laughs> the first time. He wants to do it this time around. We'll we'll take a listen to him. Now. Let's listen to him. Yeah. Deontay Wilder. Severn has to look forward to something that I ain't finished. This is a job that I must finish. He survived the first time. He was the only fighter to survive a knockout um, between me. So, uh... This is just something that I come back to and finish the job, which I will do. Guys I fight, I end their careers, you know? So, of course, I'm a risky, I'm a risky person to fight. That's why Hearns and Joshua, they, they're avoiding me right now because they got a little thing going on in England. It's a money marketing thing. And they're making up all these excuses that don't have nothing to deal with the sport of boxing. Nobody cares the population. Nobody cares what money or this. People want to see fights. I'm motivated. Real, real, real. Motivation is always there, but it's more so uh, a pain relief. It's to release my pain. That's all. Right. Oh, Bimmer yeah. Steven has a work cut out. Cecilia, uh, make no mistake about that. You talked about that. He's been out uh, since 20 for a long time now. It's about yeah. two years. He's two been years active. And, um, uh, I don't see how he's going to win this one. It would be a major, major upset uh, if he pulls this one out of I'm the I'm not back. thinking about it at all. I'm, You're worried, thinking, ahead I'm, I'm thinking ahead because okay. I'm worried about what <laughs> John said. said. About like, Joshua. I mean, so, about he... Joshua, I mean, they're dirging and not, they don't want to fight. Do and you... the fact that, no, I'm not. Do you, uh, you know, I, I, I said it earlier this year, right, when yeah. he was going to fight Klitschko, I felt after Klitschko, no matter what happened in that game, don't take on Deontay right, Wilder right. immediately. I mean, you just have to, like, maybe have five or six about under your belt, Keep you know, building, right? building before you can face Deontay just, Wilder. Okay. I mean, this is a guy who was, uh, um, um, he is um, said that, look, he ends people's career. I mean, mm. we've seen how many boxes his uh, fights over the years and all that, how the fact that they don't even, you know, have the never part to want to fight other greater boxes right. anymore. So, that's the kind of guy he is, he and is. he's got more experience than Anthony Joshua. So Anthony Joshua needs to build his own, you know, okay. his own, uh, how do I put it now? His own career, not just career, I mean, uh, series of wins. Maybe yeah. he's on 20 now. Do you know what he's on 30, 30? 38. 38. Yeah. I mean, 38 just take a look old. at it. That's like 18. Yes. That's the difference. So, yeah, I mean, huge. once Anthony Joshua is able to get to like 25 fights without losing anyone, then he can take on Deontay Wilder. Right. So, might just be so, so, you should keep talking. So, basically, you're right. keep talking and talking. At the end, talking and, talking. And, um, and match room, they've actually listened to your <laughs> uh, advice and they're taking it slowly but surely. Surely, uh, yeah, it right. will happen, but not now. No, now, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, but we just want to see that fight um, eventually. I think it's going to happen uh, down the road. Uh, so that's it for Deontay Wilder, WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, was a record of 38 wins, 37 via knockout. So uh, he's not, he is quite a, a <laughs> fighter, <laughs> you'd say, definitely. So that's it for boxing, Cecilia. What we're going next? Yeah, definitely we'll talk about Bengal Gumbate. I mean, he's been in the news mm -hmm. all the while, leaving Aimba, going to Rangers. He was unveiled in Enugu. On Wednesday, and of course, the governor was the one who made doing the unveiling, so it was yeah. more like an honor for him. They have a new board in place now, they have a new coach, Are you and surprised? Rangers International. No, I'm not because okay. you know, after winning the 2015 2016, you know, Nigerian professional football league title, we're thinking Rangers have arrived. You know, after 32 years, took them 32 years to get there. Do you understand? Right. They couldn't, they finished 14. I mean, Shambolic that's very low. I mean, it was really that, awful. I mean, yeah. they had to let the coach go, get them down, but then he couldn't do the job and all. Yeah, they just managed, managed to, to get them, them, you know, in, in the, the system. So that's, I mean, not even top 10. I mean, <laughs> former champions finishing 14 right. and all that. So, 
Ugumbote has a lot to do. I'm happy that he's getting all the support he needed. David Siawumi, mm. you know, is also the general manager now of the club. They David have, Siawumi. yeah, the, the, the board chair might have a chief or not. So these are the, you know, the, the, this is the make -up so to speak, yeah, of, of, of what it, Rangers you know, is going to look like. So they, they've got the, the men behind the scene. I would see how he's going to recruit, mm. recruitment policy, and if they can get good players to join the club, you know, he's going to have his first uh, training session today, this evening. So mm. that's, he might, he's just going to take a look at the players they have. If he can bring in new uh, players and all, we've seen what Ogumbote did with Ayimba and all that. And we've seen what he has done oh, with Sharks, you know, with Shooting Stars, with Giwa FC, his experience, Sunshine and all. So he's a very experienced coach, you Absolutely. know. You know, it's going to bring in a whole lot, you know, coming into uh, our Rangers. Absolutely. I mean, you never can say from the very uh, go uh, whether our coach is going to be successful or not. But in terms of uh, reputation, in terms of antecedents, uh, you have to say our uh, Rangers have, have gone, oh, they've, 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 uh, this is a really good uh, move uh, for them on paper. It remains to be seen uh, how it translates uh, to results in the uh, upcoming uh, season. So Rangers, they've got a new coach now. It's been unveiled. Benga Ogunbote is his name, and he's been speaking uh, about his um, move to Rangers International. Preparedness, I think, is a collective responsibility. Every hand must be on deck to achieve the desired goal. As for me, as a coach, I have responsibility to discharge. That, of course, I know by God's grace I will. And I know that uh, Rangers is a household name. Uh, always ready for positive results. We do everything within our means collectively to ensure that that is achieved. All we need to do is uh, we we'll put everything. We know we have versatile people, uh, seasoned administrators that are brought into the system to ensuring that uh, we have a level playing ground to play. And I think uh, with the help of God and the, with the support of everyone in the state, We'll be able to get there. By the special grace of God, the team will finish in an appreciable position.